Jeff Jack guys, sequestered story time. <laughs> Episode of Jeff Chekai's Sequestered Storytime. We got a lot to do today, so we're going to start off with a book reading. I'm going to read a chapter from my book, Hip and Hop in the House. I should say that I'm going to attempt to rap. I'm not a very good rapper, but these are strange times we're living in. So let's get started. Do you want to hear another song that I wrote? I'm not sure if it's very good. Yes, Yes, Y'all by Jeff Chekai. Okay, before I read the book, I'm going to have to tell you how to read the book. Whenever the rabbit's rapping and the words are green, I'm going to read it as fast, fast, fast as I can. And when the turtle's rapping and the words are red, I'm going to read it as slowly as I can. This guy down here is y'all. You'll meet him later. And he says, sounds boring. Hit the turtle and hop the rabbit were best friends and the best rappers in old school county. So here's Hip. He's a turtle. This is how I imagine a turtle rapping. I rhyme in a turtle style. It takes me days to bike a mile. What's the rush? I'm in no hurry. My skin is slick and hops is furry. Okay, here's Hop. Hop's a bunny. Um, I imagine rabbits would rap really fast. So uh, this is a little trickier for me. Here we go. Let's do this. Hip shell is green like guacamole. Bunny bikes far too slowly. Come on, friend, pick up the pace. Pedal faster, turn up the bass. It was summertime, so they decided to take their show on the road. So yeah, Hip and Hop are on tour. They're bringing their raps all over Old School County. First up, they rapped in the Slow Jam Swamp. We're leaping frogs and chilling on logs. And here in Breakbeat Meadow, nice and slow. We're rolling down hills and checking out bills. Nice bill, thanks. Then on top of Turntable Mountain. We're climbing up high and still looking fly. And then here underwater in Lake Boogaloo. We're holding our breath while still looking deaf. And everywhere they went, animals loved their music. That is, until the day they played in Sugar Hill Park. Everybody was having a dope time dancing to the music. So this is supposed to be a big outdoor concert. Everyone's getting down. Well, almost everybody. One prickly porcupine was not enjoying himself. There he is. After the show, Hip and Hop talked to the mysterious stranger. Do you like our show? No. Do you like any of the songs? Um, no. Do you like rap music at all? Negatory. Don't mind him. This is y'all. He says no to everything. No, I don't. So Hip and Hop wanted to see if y'all actually did say no to everything. So they tried this. There must be something you like. Do you like springtime showers? No. The smell of flowers? 
Yuck. The color blue. Yawn. My new hairdo. Um. Fresh beets. Ew. Fresh beets. Turn it down. My stylish mittens. Ugly. Cute fuzzy kittens. I don't trust this guy. Beautiful rainbows. Too many colors. My big red nose. It's fake. Honk. Carrots. Fooey. Parrots? Nope. And hops a bunny, so she says, wait a minute. You don't like carrots? Hmm. Y'all made his answer very clear. No! He doesn't even like parties. And tomorrow is his birthday. Ding, ding! They gave them both an idea. Hip and Hop decided to throw y'all the best surprise birthday party Old School County had ever seen. First up was hip, nice and slow. Y'all says no all the time. But our plan will change his mind. I'll blow the loons and you hang streamers. I'll invite all the funky lemurs. That's a funky lemur in case you're wondering. Next up is Hop. She sounds like this. Cool raccoons and baby moths still in cocoons. Bring your crew and I'll bring mine and everyone will dress so fine. Oh, hi. Remember me? I'm the Powderhouse Pickle Drawer. I live in Nathan Tufts Park. And today I'm going to do... <gasps> I forgot something very important. Today, I am going to do a magic trick. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I have placed six cards here. I want you to concentrate very hard on one of them. Remember that card. Concentrate. Okay, I know what card you chose. Now I'm going to eat it. Burp. Actually, didn't taste that bad. Now that I've eaten your card, and only your card, I put the remaining cards back here. Did I eat the correct card? Well, did I? Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all my adoring fans. The next afternoon, everyone gathered at the park to celebrate. Surprise! Plop. I don't like surprises. They smashed a pinata. Humph. They devoured a birthday cake. Yuck. And, of course, up-and-coming rap acts threw down some songs. First up was Kanye Pest. He crawls up out of the trash. How about I say this, and then you say it back to me? So I go first, then you. Ready? The squeaks don't stop till the break of dawn. The squeaks don't stop till the break of dawn. The squeaks don't stop till the break of dawn. The squeaks don't stop till the break of dawn. The squeaks don't stop till the break of dawn. The squeaks don't stop till the break of dawn. The squeaks don't stop till the break of dawn. The squeaks don't stop till the break of dawn. Next up was Kanye West. 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 Kanye West.
next up was Snoop Froggy Frog. Snoop Frog gets on top of his boom box and he says this. How about I go first, then you say it back to me. I gotta eat flies. I gotta eat flies. Next up is Beyonce. I'll go first, then you say it after me. All the single queen bees. 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 Throw your wings up. Next up is the Mu Tang Clan. They're a bunch of cows. I'll go first, then you say back to me. Curds and whey. Let's party all day. Now you. Some animals said it was the best party Old School County had ever seen, but the guest of honor was not impressed. Can I go home now? Luckily, his friends and family had one more trick up their sleeves. Presents! Y'all's aunt had made a special gift for him, a handmade sweater. Try it on. Wiggle, wiggle. It was a little small, pop, and a lot itchy. He had to get it off as soon as possible. Scratch, scratch. As y'all scratched and squirmed in his itchy wool sweater, hip and hop wrapped. Why don't you try doing this with me? Uh, first is hop, she's really fast, but I bet you can do it. Ready? Go y'all go, do your dance. It looks like ants are in your pants. Watch his jump and watch his spins. All you fresh fish throw up your fins. And here's y'all trying to take the sweater off. Scratch, pull, yank, yank, scratch. Then hips turn. Hip is nice and slow. This is easier. Do it with me. Y'all's one funk e pork you pine with smarter moves than Al Einstein on his feet and on his back. Ducks in the crowd, let's hear you quack. Finally, he got the sweater off. Wow, y'all, you were really busting moves on the dance floor. You must love dancing. But I wasn't dance. Y'all realized that moving to the sounds of hip and hop's fresh beats actually had been fun. Maybe he didn't always have to say no. Okay, so on the next page is a very big word. When I turn the page, I want you to say it along with me. Oh, but first I have to read the sentence at the top. And so, for the first time ever, he gave a different answer. Yes! It turns out that saying yes was much more fun. Do you like... Fries, yum. Butterflies, pretty. Flying kites, fun. My pearly whites, nice smile. Roller skates, wee. Sewer grates, you're kidding, right? Ice cream, of course. Laser beams, cool. The color red, brilliant. My cousin Fred, nice to meet you. Do you like my pants? Very flattering. Do you want to dance? You can probably guess what he said. He clicked on his boom box. And the answer was most definitely, yes! Yes, yes, y'all, to the beat, y'all. And that's the end. And that was Yes, Yes, Y'all by me, 
Jeff Chuckeye. Oh, hi, remember me? I'm the Powder House Sheep. And I'm very excited because today I get to Zoom with my friend Philomena. We haven't been able to hang out in person, so we've been seeing each other on the computer. Let me go get my laptop. There we go. Now I just gotta type in and log into Zoom and enter my password. Hey, no peeking. Ding. Ah, there we go. Philomena, can you see me? Are you there? Philomena? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Philomena, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you, Powderhouse Sheep. Um, yeah, I miss you so much. I miss you too. What do you want to talk about? Um, I don't know. I played a video game today. You did? What'd you play? Pac-Man. Pac-Man? I've never heard of it. Oh. Oh, Philomena, I wish we could be together. Uh. Me too? Philomena, that's a really cool background you have. It looks like you're on Mars. I am on Mars. You are? Yeah. Philomena, I wish we could be together. Me too. I miss being in person with you. Uh, I'm an animal, but I know what you mean. I got an idea. Let's hug. Hug? How do we do that? It's a new feature on Zoom. Watch, just do this. Oh, <laughs> oh Philomena. I like you. I like you too, my friend. Oh, hey, you're back. I was just about to go uh, grocery shopping. This is what I wear when I go go to Market Basket. Um, but since you're still here, I guess I'll read another book. Um, this book is called Dog Rules. It's a sequel of sorts to Cat Secrets, um, which I read in the first episode of Jeff Chekai's Sequestered Storytime. So if you haven't watched that, go check that out. But for now, here's Dog Rules. Dog Rules by Jeff Chekai. So the first thing you can see is the book was going to be called Bird Rules, but this cat crossed it out and made it read Dog Rules by Jeff Chekai. Plop. Looks like he put down a nest with some sort of note in it. What's this? There's a note. The cat zips away. Instructions. Sit on nest, hatch baby, oh, sit on nest, hatch egg, teach baby to be a good dog. That's funny. I don't recall being hatched from an egg, but I guess it was a long time ago. Cat thinks this is really funny. And so they sit on the nest and knit. They sit on the nest in the rain. They sit on the nest in the snow. Rumble, 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 rumble. Crack. Plop, plop, pop. Mama. The cat thinks this is funny. I think there must be some mistake, little one. I'm pretty sure that I'm a boy dog. Mama. 
Mama. He's got your eyes. Also, you don't really look like a dog. Now you've gone and made our baby cry. I'm sorry, Junior. Mama! The note says that we should teach our puppy to be a good dog. Let's get to work. Growling is an important part of any dog's day. Ready? It's time for you to show Junior how to growl. Okay, all you dogs watching at home, Growl, please. Grrr. That was some fabulous growling. Now it's your turn, Junior. It's Junior's turn to growl. Let's see how it does. Tweet! Zip. Why don't we try something else? Dogs love to do tricks. Let's show Junior how to roll over. All right, dogs at home, get on the floor and start rolling around. Roll, 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 roll. Let's see what Junior does. Roll, roll. Nice job, keep it up. Wait a minute, what are you doing? Are you, are you eating a worm? Dogs do not eat worms. Slurp. And this dog who has a mouthful of worms says, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The translation down here, they actually taste pretty good. Being a parent can be confusing. Tell me about it. I just ate worms. Okay, it's time for the most exciting lesson of all. Barking. Ooh, barking is a personal favorite. Everybody bark. All right, all you dogs at home, start barking. Woof, woof. Now it's Junior's turn. Tweet! No, no. It's like this. All right, everybody at home, bark some more. Woof, 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 Cat thinks this is hysterical. Tweets, flies, and eats worms. Have we been raising a baby bird this entire time? Ha 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 ha! The cat has played what it thinks is a hysterical, practical joke upon the dogs. Guess we have. But Junior, that doesn't mean we love you any less. You can tweet all you want. <laughs> Flap, 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 flap. The bird lands, looking at the laughing cat. What's gonna happen? Woof! Everybody at home, give me your biggest bark. Ready? One, two, three. Woof! I've never been more proud. Our little puppy's all grown up. And that's the end of Dog Rules. Okay. So today, I thought it'd be fun to draw Garfield. 
the world-famous cartoon character invented by Jim Davis. So, we'll start with Garfield's eyes. He's got very distinctive eyes. Two ovals. They kind of overlap a little bit. Then they're always, like, sleepy. I guess Garfield is kind of a lazy creature. I think that's safe to say. Then his nose right underneath another little oval. His mouth has that very typical cat drawing mouth that goes like that. He's got a couple dots here. Freckles? Whiskers? Who knows? And then we have to remember, he's got three eyes. So the third eye goes there. His face is round like this. And he's a calico cat, so he has stripes. His stripes are kind of drawn like this for some reason in, in newer versions of Garfield. Okay. And then of course we know he's got two horns, like so. And his body is pretty round. He's a chubby creature. Let's give some more, more of those calico stripes. Now, his tail is very long like this. Put more of the stripes. And at the end of his tail, he's got that hook that we all know and love. Now, legs. Garfield's legs, well, he's got eight of them, so let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put a little, some stripes there. And let's make him saying, oh, his last leg, sometimes he uses his leg as a hand, right? It's a weird cat. So let's give him one more leg and there he's holding his favorite food, which is a block of tofu. There we go. And if there's one thing we know Garfield hates, it's a certain day of the week. And that is Wednesdays. There you go. And that's how you draw Garfield. Send me your drawings. I'd love to see them. So that's it. Another episode of Jeff Check Eye Sequestered Storytime. Hope you liked it. Um, now all that's left is me playing the closing theme song. It goes a little like this.